Welcome back to the Cube, a wonderful pub here in a wonderful city of Toowoomba. We are talking about youth crime, but also I wanted to leave you with what has been a really great local idea to take care of people who might be afraid about what's happening in this part of Australia. Garth Hamilton is the local federal MP and the local breakfast radio announcer is Lee Faulkner. Uh, of course, on Triple M, lads, hello. So, Garth, tell me about this idea that means people can reach out to you and people like Lee can get them home safe. Yeah, absolutely. Look, one of the saddest things about this, uh, Paul, was you're hearing that people were getting scared to come into the CBD, um, our beautiful town, you know, a place that people come to. It's a great place to live, work and raise your family. Um, and that idea just kind of struck. It sort of hurt a little bit, the idea that people wouldn't want to come in. And we heard that from a number of community groups. And someone put the idea to me. They said, look, what if we got a couple of volunteers together just to walk with people? I gave Lee a call and I said, is this either the best idea I've ever heard or the stupidest one? <laughs> And um, Lee, we, we thought this was this was pretty good. So we, we put the offer out there. We've had a couple of couple of people take up the call, but I've got to tell you, far more people have volunteered, which I think speaks a lot to the community that we've got here in Toowoomba. You know, we are sick of it, and we want to get over it. Now, Lee, I mean, this is literally you talk to this town every single day on breakfast radio, but to know that there are people who might physically need assistance getting from A to B. Um, that's amazing, amazing that you want to do that, amazing that Garth's offering it, but isn't it terrible that it's needed? Yeah, absolutely it is. And, you know, even to the point of, you know, one of the people that I work with every day on my show, uh, who's a 20-year-old who does part-time hairdressing, who was in the salon in that Kwong Sang walk where the shotgun incident happened recently uh, as she was leaving work that day. And it's just another of the stories that I've started to hear over and over again that young women in particular, elderly people are petrified at the moment. They feel vulnerable, particularly around some of our shopping centres and in our main streets. So they're asking for somebody to, to be there. Now, it's not a laughing matter, but how can I not as a former Triple M boy to a current Triple M boy? <laughs> uh, every time you open the phones, it'll either be for Secret Sound or this. Um, you were telling me before that for weeks and weeks and weeks now, the second you give people a chance to talk about this, this is all they want. Yeah, absolutely. And, and it certainly wasn't... I mean, I've been doing this 18 years in this city. It is, it is a beautiful city. It is the best place to live, and it is a great place to visit and invest. But right now, I've never seen anything like it, and I've never had a reaction like on the show, what we're seeing every single day. And it's all age groups. I mean, it's not just elderly people, it's not just young people, it's right across the board. People are petrified. Because it's this thing, Garth, where, where uh, again, I, I'm going to say it for the 400th time, but I mean it. Everywhere I go, people want to talk up their area, especially when a TV camera comes anywhere near it. Every time you turn on local uh, radio shows, there are obviously celebrations of a community. It takes a lot for a community to be willing to share with the rest of the country what might be going wrong at the moment. But we really are at that crossroads, that inflection point, as I say, as the wankers yeah. say. Look, absolutely. And, and I think we need, it's been good that uh, the Chronicle, the Courier Mail have called this out. Enough is enough. There is a cancer that's spreading out from Brisbane. It is the Queensland Labor Party. Their decisions have hurt us and we need to talk about it. We need to get that out on the table. The steps they've made today are welcome. I'm, I'm very glad to see them make breach of bail and offence again. Mm. That's something that's very sensible. That's the first step, though. We need to keep this going. Uh, there's a long way to go for this. A problem that's gone on now for, what, eight years since they first tinkered with the Youth Justice Act. This isn't going to be solved by one little press conference and fiddling with some numbers, as you pointed out tonight. This is something that's going to take a lot of hard work and we need to hold them to that. While that goes on, we're not going to solve that, but we're not going to sit by and let our city have its name trashed uh, because some people in Brisbane just don't care. So if, uh, if you want to avail yourself of this, uh, obviously... Call Lee at Triple M, get in touch with Garth. Uh, you all know how to do that locally uh, and obviously his elected office as well. Lads, thank you very much. 18 years on Breakfast Radio. My God, enjoy the sleep <laughs> when it eventually comes.